Hello guys, uh, welcome to Nyariki Crypto uh, University channel. Uh, once again, today we are talking about uh, uh, BX, Bitcoin X. Um, uh, we have KYC currently going on and it requires some uh, little gas fee, uh, 0 0.0035 uh, to approximately 0 0.0037 B, uh, BNB as gas fee, okay? So today I want to show you step by step how you're going to buy the BNB or the USDT, convert it to BNB, and then load it to MetaMask uh, on BNB chain and then complete your KYC. First of all, if you have OKX or Binance, whichever exchange uh, you're using, so for my case, I'm going to use um, a Binance, for example. I don't want to buy, but I just want to show you what you need to do. Um, so this is your Binance or OKX for that matter. What you're going to do, come and click on... Um, uh, for most cases, you might see this option for P2P. If you don't see it, come and click on this. Come and click on uh, More. Once you click on More, you're going to see uh, where we have recommended you're going to see P2P. That's where we buy. So you click there. Once you click there, um, my network is not very good. Let me just refresh. Uh, okay, let me just go back. P2P trading is here. So um, once you do that, you have now to buy some USDT or BNB in this case. So... If I want to buy USDT, then once I get the USDT, I have to convert it to BNB, okay? But alternatively, you can just buy BNB straight away. How do you buy BNB? Just come and click on this USDT so that it can allow you because we have other coins. Then come and select BNB. And then uh, every, every seller here has uh, set their minimum amount they are uh, selling. So in most cases, you're going to realize the minimum for most people is 1,000 shillings. So you cannot buy more, uh, less than 1,000 shillings. So even if you don't need the whole 1,000 shillings, you're going to be forced to buy because that is the minimum you can buy from here, Binance. Uh, go use and then whatever remains, it can remain. Maybe you can use it one day, okay? So you're going to buy, most of the people, I think the minimum is 1,000. I don't think you're going to find someone buying less than that. In most cases, people are buying from 1,000 and above. You can check it on the trade limits. And of course, the deeper you go, the more expensive it's becoming. So um, you just come over here. First of all, make sure the person you're buying is online. How do you know the person is online? It's going to show a green indicator. On this as you can see this person is online because there is a green dot inside even this one is online okay all right so you can come and click on buy uh, but for my case I'm not buying from this person so I come here I write how much do I want to spend in Kenyan shillings for example when you are on um, when you are by fiat then you want to write how much you want to spend in Kenyan shillings. So minimum has to be 1,000 because if I put in something like 999, it's going to tell you minimum I need to buy from this person is 1,000, okay? So that is going to give you 0 0.017 uh, BNB, okay? So when you are sure you want to buy and you have confirmed you have money in your m -Pesa, you come and uh, click on buy BNB, but I'm not doing that because I'm not buying. Once you buy, you're going to be asked to make payment. The payment details are going to display there. Uh, you can see this person payment method is already M-Pesa. So the, um, uh, you're going to be asked to make payment. The M-Pesa number is going to show up. So you're going to send the money to that person in less than 15 minutes. And then you make sure once you have sent the money, there is a section where you click, I have transferred, notify the seller. So that the escrow is going to know that uh, you have already made the payment so that those dollars are going to be released into your account, those BNB, okay? So that's what you need to do to buy the USDT or, uh, um, or a BNB. 
So if you have USDT in Binance, for example, you want to convert it to BNB, how do you do that? Come and click on more up here. Once you click on more, scroll down a bit to where we have thread and then click on convert. Once you convert, and of course, by the way, when you're doing that, you make sure whatever you're converting is on uh, spot trading and not funding. Eh? Spot wallet. So you just come and convert your, for example, if it was USDT, you select USDT. You want to convert it to BNB. So you come and write BNB. Okay. So, and then you come and select the amount you want to convert and then you're going to preview the conversion and then you're going to convert. So once you do that, you have the BNB already with you. So once you have the BNB, what is the next thing that you need to do? The next thing now is to move that BNB from whichever exchange. It can be OKX, it can be Huobi, it can be whichever, Binance. Then you move it to your MetaMask. So how do you do that? Now, this is the most important step. You open your MetaMask because that is the recommended wallet. Okay. So once you open your MetaMask, you are going to copy the address. You're going to copy the address. Okay. The address is just one for all of them. And then you go to where your funds are. You come and click on wallets at the bottom, right? And then you click on uh, uh spot whichever uh, where the money is either spot or funding wherever uh, your money is and then you click withdraw and then you withdraw that particular that particular coin that you are withdrawing if it was now bnb in this case because you have already converted uh your usdt to bnb or if you had bought bnb so you are withdrawing bnb you come and write your bnb here because that's what you're withdrawing, B and B. Okay, like that. And then you are going to be asked, you are sending via crypto network or email. You select via crypto network. And then you are going to be asked the address. Paste the address that you copied from the other side, eh? where you are taking the money to, MetaMask in this case. And then on network, you make sure, very important, you select the first option for BNB Smart Chain PEP20. Very important. PEP20 and not any other network. You click there. And then you enter the amount of uh, BNB you need to send to the other wallet. Okay. Uh, and of course, we have some minimum you can withdraw from this side. I don't know whether it's $3 or $4. We have actually the minimum is indicated here. The minimum you need to transfer is 0 0.004. Uh, so you make sure whatever you're transferring is more than that. And then you can just go ahead once you have put in all the amount, you can withdraw, uh, do the verification. And then if the funds are going to be reflecting in your MetaMask. So um, once you get to MetaMask, um, for you to see your funds, remember the network you, uh, you connected. Most of the people when you come to MetaMask, you may realize that they are connected to Ethereum main network or, for example, they are connected to a Bitram one. You may find or some of them might be connected to core blockchain. So for you to see that gas fee that has been sent to you or the one you transferred uh, from the Binance or any other exchange to your uh, MetaMask, for you to see your funds, or even if, let's say, for example, you were to buy from someone. Let's say, for example, you do P2P. Someone has some uh, BNB. Instead of going to buy, you just want to, uh, you want them to send to you. And then you make them, uh, you make payments to them. You're still going to copy the address. The address is just one sent to them. Then they are going to send the BNB. So if you are not connected to BNB Smart Chain, you will not see your gas fee. Because remember, the person who is sending those coins to you is using the network for BNB Smart Chain. So you make sure the first thing, once you get to your wallet, you're going to click on uh, that network up there. And then you select the option for BNB Smart Chain. And if it's not there, you can just come over here and click Add. And then you're going to see uh, on popular, you're going to see BNB Smart Chain and you're going to add it. So once you have switched to a BNB Smart Chain, uh, where is it? Here it is, BNB Smart Chain. You're going to see the BNB that was sent to you. 
it's going to show here okay so once now you have loaded your b and b and uh, you have the nav gas fee so now how do you do the kyc this is what you do first of all once you have the uh, required gas fee this is what you're going to do you are going to open bitcoin bx actually let me bitcoin bx for example what i'm going to do now look here guys you're going to you're going to tap up here you see this uh, uh, this url at the top this is where you're going to come and long press and then click on copy okay click on this so that it can be able to copy what it can be able to copy this bitcoin bx or you can just go um and write it manually but i prefer copying this bitcoin bx.com copy that url and then do not actually do not many people are making a mistake of connecting from here let me see bitcoin bx many people are doing this many people come here and they click on complete kyc from here it's not going to con it when you come and click on this connect up here it's not going to uh it will tell you no metamask uh installed so you have to do it from metamask so what you're going to do open your metamask once you have opened your metamask uh come and click on uh, the browser and of course make sure you are already on bnb smart chain so you come and click on uh, this browser down here okay once you click there and then come and tap here tap here up there once you tap there then uh, just tap on this x you tap on it once it's going to clear everything and then long press to paste whatever you copied on the other side and then click on the enter on the keyboard it's going to search now it's going to bring you here you are now going to log in using your details the username you have been using uh, uh, with and the password okay make sure you do that.